What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have my first Lost Origin opening, um, which is like the uh, Lost Abyss and Dark Phantasma English set. Uh, so yeah, I got these two three packs from the Pokemon Center. Um, I haven't opened a ton of Lost Origin yet, just kind of like one ETB. Um, I know the pull rates for this set are pretty rough, pretty rough. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what we get here. But uh, usually the three packs, they always, I don't know why they always seem to do well. I mean, I, I think it's kind of just like a myth, but uh, you know, the three packs, they always seem to be one of the hottest commodity items all the time. Um, and you can't ever like, like pre-order them or anything. Uh, these came out, I got these from the Pokemon Center website the day, um, the set was released on that Friday. So, who knows when I'm gonna post this. Oh, hey, alright, I hit right away! Aerodactyl, there you go, alright. Well, that's fantastic, okay. The, uh, the alternate art for that, uh, for the Aerodactyl, yeah, Aerodactyl V alternate art is, uh, probably, I think as of recording this, the most expensive card in the set. Or one of them, uh, just because it looks like Jurassic Park. Everybody really loves it. I think obviously the other one that everybody's going for um, uh, is the alternate art Garatina with that amazing looking artwork. So there's the code card, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I there aren't a ton of alternate arts in this. I think it's just uh, those two, and then the Rotom. And the Rotom to me is one of the best ones. Oh, and here's the new. Lost Zone mechanic with all these uh, squiggle things on it. Uh, the new old Lost Zone mechanic. It was uh, something that used to be a thing back in the day, and now they brought it back. Got an alternate art Gengar and a Lost Zone Macargo. Or <laughs> alternate art reverse Gengar. Um, however, one of the trainer gallery Gengars that I pulled, I, I think, in a video on here that I think was a part of. Dark Phantasma. There are so many Japanese sets that, like, I just, I just get them mixed up all the time now. It's the one with Zorark on the box. The one with Rotom on the box. You know, it's just they all kind of mold together after a while. It's just, it's a lot. Unless one really, really sticks out, like uh, EB Heroes or something. Okay, so we got a Water Energy. We got Billy Bob Thornton. We got Bronzong. We got Colorless. Got Bronzor, Electrike, Ghastly, Binacle, Murkrow, Squovet, and a regular rare Mimikyu. I love this Mimikyu artwork though, of like the Pikachu on the soda can there. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Okay. So there you go. That's one whole three pack already. Now into the next one. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Hang on. I will show the code. For that, uh, for that last three pack as well. There's the silly coin. Love the Weavile. Weavile always good. Can't really tell. Yeah, it just kind of looks like he's in a gym or something. I do always love it when they have like things in the background that are like recognizable from the game. And here's the surfetched coin. Okay. And then here is the. Other surfetch coin that you can hear, and then Regigigas. I was hoping Regigigas was going to be like in Snowpoint Temple or something. And here is the code for that Regigigas if you so desire. All right. Well, we got a hit in the last three packs, so I'm hoping just like one hit on here. Um, I think some of the cards from this set that I have, I, I only opened up one ETB. Um, I think I'm just kind of saving money for, I'm, I actually don't, I should listen to the news more about this, but I'm not, I, I know they called for a, not EV Heroes, uh, Evolving Skies reprint in like August. And like every reprint, I'm assuming it's like delayed, unless it already was reprinted and then kind of like sold out again. So we got a Volvo, hate this guy in uh, Legends Arceus, and a regular rare Rhyperior. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to kind of put all my bulk together for, uh, 
to just go all in on some like evolving skies boxes i know the price of bulk has really gone down quite a bit too because you know pokemon has finally kind of like met the demand of uh of what pokemon cards were like two years ago so um that's why i'm definitely not paying oh wow is that tomokazu of course it is where why wouldn't it be look at that freaky snake in there <laughs> The Viper, Galarian Stun Fix, Bosk, Box, Bosk, Box of Disaster, Phalanx, Poliwag, uh, Sam's favorite, Gliger, Sam, shout out to you, uh, Gumi, Mawile, Blipbug, and a Porygon Z. And I would have thought that this would have been like a part of the Lost Zone thing, you know, because like literally Porygon Z is like the colors of the Lost Zone. So, all right, well, we got one Ultra Rare out of six packs. Well, we still get, we still could do some last pack magic here. I'm really, I'm really praying for some last pack magic, even just a a V card. You know, I think the the best part about always an, a new set always is that like you never like you need every card. So like every card's kind of like a new card. So that's my first Aerodactyl V. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say like some of the cards I've gotten already. I did get a Garatina V Star already. Oh, more Tomokazu a Viper. Okay. Galarian Sunfisk, Murkrow, Shuppet. Oh man, I love that Shuppet card. <laughs> All right, Wormple, Tynamo, C Dot, Finneon, and a Hollow Glastier. Wow. Okay, so this is kind of like the first artwork I think that they've had the horses separate, like without Calyrax on there. But okay, still technically a hit. So two out of uh, six packs. Not bad. The hit rates in this set they're saying kind of bad. You know, so. I know that uh, it's going to be kind of tough. So anyway, you know, pulled one ultra rare. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you in the next one. Peace.